Hey YouTube, what's up? Apple iDev here. Um, a viewer recently posted a question on my uh, on my channel, and he was asking about uh, going over what everything means. Um, and this kind of made me realize that not everyone is an experienced programmer ready to start off with Objective C and Cocoa. So, having realized that, I'm going to start two more series. Uh, the first series is going to be Programming 101, and that's what I'm going to be starting here today. Uh, and this afternoon, there should be a second tutorial up, which will be the first one in the series, uh, Learn Objective C. And that one is basically going to be uh, for anyone who has done some basic programming, knows, you know, what calling a method means, what creating a function is, um, and wants to learn Objective C. Otherwise, if you have no programming experience at all, this is where you want to be. Um, we're going to be coding using the language C, um, and I'll explain why. Um, basically, C is a great starting language. First, because all other languages, or all other high-level languages at least, are derived from C. Java, Objective-C, C Sharp, C++, uh, all of these languages are derived from C. So once you understand C, you have the foundation that you need to learn any other language. And then when a new language is developed and is released, then you already have a leg up on learning that language. Um, so. Uh, in general, C is just a good language to start with. Um, so, having said that, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, by showing you how to uh, download Xcode. Uh, if you're on a Mac, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the App Store. And, under Free Apps, Top Free, uh, you just download Xcode here. Um, you're going to want a fast internet connection in a lot of time, because it's about a gigabyte and a half. Uh, and then once you install it, which I already have, you're just going to go ahead and open it up. And uh, if you're on an older computer like I am, I'm on a 2008 MacBook, um, it's going to obviously be a little slower to start up because Xcode is a big and very complex uh, program. Uh, the other thing is Xcode is called an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. And that basically means that instead of just writing code in a text, ed in a text editor and compiling it, you are actually, you know, you have a bunch of tools built into one application that helps you write effective code. Um, so what's going to happen is when you first open Xcode, you're going to see this window, except all of this will probably be blank. Um, these are just different things that uh, I've opened in the last uh, few days, um, and it's just basically a list of recent projects. But what we're going to do is we're going to do something, and we're going to go over here where we say create a new Xcode project. Um, one thing that you guys are going to want to do here, and I'll open this up and point this out now, is when you're developing, you're going to want to create a folder in here called Developer. And what Developer will do is it's just going to be a folder where you can keep all of your programs and all of your projects in one place, rather than having them stored in documents in your home folder and your projects folder and your developer folder in 43,000 different places. You can have them all centralized in one place. So you're going to want to create a developer folder um, and know where it is, and save all of your projects there. So now that we've gone through that, we're going to go to uh, Mac OS X here on the left, and we're going to select Command Line Tool. Uh, we're going to click Next here, and you can see that type is uh, C, and that's what we want. We're developing in C. Uh, I'm just going to call this, um, and we'll call this Programming 101, and you want automatic reference counting, and I'm going to click Next here. And as you can see, I am in my developer folder, so I'll just save it there. You can see that Xcode does a couple of things. First of all, it creates a scheme for you, which is how you're going to test it. Uh, the next thing that it does, as you can see over here on the left, it creates a main.c source file. Uh, essentially, a main file is where all of the main code is going to be. That's where your main function that the program is going to execute every time it runs uh, is going to be. Um, so, you can see uh, clearly, you know, we developed some code. Uh, we'll go over what all of this means in the next tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how to create your first program. Um, so, you can see pretty clearly, you know, it's a, it's a, actually a rather complex setup for um, beginning developers, but uh, hopefully you can master it pretty quickly. Uh, the only thing that you guys are going to need to know, uh, first of all, you're going to want to hide this right sidebar. Uh, and the only thing that you guys are going to need to know is this middle button in the view panel. What this does is it opens up the uh, debugger and the console. 
what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the right here and click on the farthest right button. You just want the console because you just want to see what you're telling your program to print out. Everything else is irrelevant to you. So that's the main thing that you want to look at. So now that we know where the console is and what it is, what we're going to do now is we're just going to click run. That's how you're always going to compile and build your application. And I'll again go over what all of these terms mean in our second tutorial. But essentially what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you how things will be displayed. So we're going to click run. And you can see that it's linking. It says, it says build succeeded. And it prints out hello world in the console here. And that's what we wanted to do. That's what this does. And I'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, but for now, just understand that that's what it does. Um, and that's it. So I will see you in the next tutorial where we'll, co where we'll actually go over what all of this means. And yeah, we'll move from there. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, look out for the Learn Objective-C tutorial. And if you're already an experienced programmer or you want to try, uh, check out my development on the Mac or my development for the Mac series. Uh, so again, please subscribe and thanks for watching.